bunch of new subscribers. And what better way to celebrate than to spend 50 hours of my life eating a bunch of virtual cakes. Oh, why do I do this to myself? So this idea was pretty simple. 10,000 sub milestone, 10,000 and one of Minecraft stats. I looked through each of them and at first I thought, bells? Nah, that's so lame and lazy and if someone does that, they're just complete losers. Then I saw cakes and I was like, yep, yep, that, that makes sense. And with my extensive list of tasks to complete for this video, I could finally say after nine super long months, it's cake time, baby! Let's go! All it takes is one egg, two sugar, three buckets of milk, three wheat, throw every single one into a crafting table, and BAM! Oh. Uh. Uh. And... BAM! The first cake. A monumental moment. So at this point, I looked at my world stats and I found that it's actually cake slices eaten and not whole cakes. This will be important later. What's also important is that I can't even eat the cake without lowering my hunger bar. And the best way to do that is... Run. And now that we got our hunger down... Mmm, that was deal. Just like that, we got seven cake slices eaten seven minutes in. If we do some quick maths, you'll see that we got seven days until we reach 10,000. That's doo doo poo poo. So we're gonna need a plan. Cake. When you break it down like boom bam bop shada bop boom, you get four different items, meaning four different farms. Each farm will be pumping out crazy amounts of each item. Then you bring all that jazz together into a central location and boom, you get crazy amounts of cake. Fair enough. Now, of the four items, the easiest one to get by far is chicken! Pretty easy, right? No, not easy. I saw this little drown and I thought I'd be a silly goofy YouTuber referring to hee hees and ha ha's and this happened. Look, he's saying hello. Oh, oh geez. It's kind of quick. Hey, yo. Oh my. Rip chicken. But that's okay because shortly after I found another chicken and I wasn't gonna let anything happen to him. <gasps> no. Rip chicken too. Okay, third time's a charm. No drowns and no creepers that will blow you. No! Nah, I'm playing. He's right here. We ran home together and I put him in a box with a hopper on the bottom so I could collect all his eggs. Help, help <laughs> the now cows, we already had it, so it should have been easier than the chickens, right? Wrong again. Honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking. I think I didn't want all of them to escape, so I thought the best course of action was to fish them out, and it went, well... What? Now, this should have been a sign to stop, but at this point, I just had to see it through. What? Oh. 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 What? Then, it finally happened. Yeah! So this is where things took a slight turn. I brought the cow back, made a nano wheat farm and a sugarcane farm, hopped on a creative world trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna make this cake factory out of, and then it hit me. Holy sh why spend time designing a factory when I could just recreate the cake and throw the cake factory in there? Duh! But we have to be different and we have to be quirky. So why not take the cake, throw it in the sky, enlarge it, flip it upside down, stick a can on it so it looks like a sick rocket ship cake factory taking off into the night sky. God, they done such a genius, man! It's cake time. First, I'll start by determining the height of the cake. Cool. Now, the length of the cake, pretty good. And instead of doing a traditional square cake, I decided to go with a circle. And I had a slight miscalculation. Oh, poop. So I had to restart. I think we're almost there. Oh man, are you kidding me? With the outline done, it was time to work on making the concrete farm, which would be the main material for making the cake. The only problem was, I didn't have any more slime balls, so I went back to the swamp to kill some slime. <laughs> Why does this guy have a little leaf hat? And before building the farm, we had to clear up some space, and it looks like this. Look at that, I did the quirky little jump cut thing to do on the TikToks. Now I'll use these tiny baby red mushrooms to obliterate these indestructible end portals, sending them into the back rooms. Yo! And with all the space cleared out, it was time to build the concrete machine. And just like that, the concrete farm is done. As you can see, the blocks get thrown into the end where they are destroyed and stored in these chests. So now we can head back to collect the concrete we actually want to use for our totally sick 
flying reverse cake factory. Yo, what the hell is that? So we're gonna need red, brown, white, and I think that's it, right? Yeah, it will be okay. Let's get back to the concrete farm. Oh, overshot it a little bit. Parkour. Oh. E Let's put in our concrete, flick this lever, and there we go. We got concrete flowing in. I'll get some lunch. And I'll let this run for a little bit. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget, master sub is so awesome. All right, pretty solid haul. So now I gotta make another machine to convert all this concrete powder into regular concrete. And it is the last piece I need. Uh oh. Stop! Get out, get out, get out, get out of here, go, go, stop. Hey. Bad. With beacon here, it's all done. We put concrete powder in here, hold left click and right click at the same time. And now every time we break and place a block, it'll drop us another one until bam, it's all concrete. Now we fly on up and start outlining. And damn. I'm gonna need a lot more blocks. If only there's an area in Minecraft in which I can increase my storage exponentially and totally didn't skip out of because I was speedrunning the game in one video. Oh wait. We're farming chokers, baby! Woo! We're back! This guy won't leave me alone, bro. Yo. Holy sh he's the chosen one! He is him! He's about to enter his final form, Yo, I'm sorry! And whoop. Okay, it's time for the loot spread. Let's see what we got. Hey, not bad. All right, let's make some gremlin boxes and fill them up with some powder. All right, let's see how much we got. Sick. Oh. Damn, we're gonna be here for a minute. Ah, oh, sick. Let's go back up. All right, that should be good, right? Okay, for the review. Homie's definitely not caked up enough. <sighs> you know what that means. Please be a lot. Yes, dude. Yeah. Ow. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, hey, I'll go to sleep. Ooh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, you see that? Oh. What? Huh? Okay, that should definitely be good now. All right, let's start replacing this with the white. Mm, boom. Now all we have to do is connect the two together. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh man, why is it so flat for? It's okay, it's okay. Easy fix, easy fix. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Oh, get out of here. Alright, let's try to fill in the middle. We're gonna need more concrete. No, 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 please don't go in the portal. Yeah, it went through the portal. All right, I know this is a bad idea, but you know, I gotta go through eventually. Uh-oh. Just a small little hiccup, but it was back to some nice, easy, and honestly, pretty satisfying feeling. Just block after block, no worries. Look at that, I'm pretty much done. Just one more quarter to go and- What the fuck was that? Uh -huh. Excuse me, you're not supposed to be here. Oh jeez, jeez. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> like why there's so many? What? What just happened? All spiders get in a hole, all spiders in a hole. Hey. <laughs> oh, this poor little guy. Why, she's gonna hit himself out.
No, 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 no. I don't know how I didn't think about this. So screw the lighting right now. We need to get this bad boy some top means ASAP. Hey, get out of my cake, fool. Okay, so I'm thinking like a shape like this, but like bigger than this. Perfect. All right, let's put it on the outside. And to make it stand out, let's put it one lower than the base. Cool. Yo! Pretty good. Hmm. Let's try adding a couple small boys. Right. Oh, okay. We gotta add a couple more mini boys. Oh, shit. Never mind. Well, bam! Now that's balance. As all things should be. Alright, we've avoided it long enough. We gotta figure out this lighting situation. First thing that comes to mind are magma blocks and the nether thingies. Whoa! Wait, is he mad at me? Oh man. Oh, are they gonna start coming out of the lava if I stay here long enough? So I'm thinking like putting it on the berries, like, you know, like shading. Yikes. Ooh, or do I do what that thing is? Yeah, okay, that looks, that's looking better. Royce, Royce, look. This looks like your little pimple acne stuff. Huh? Yeah, that's a juicy pimple. <laughs> Stop, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm gonna change it to frog light. It's gonna look great. Yep, so I start gathering materials for a frog light farm. Cool, that should be everything. We just need a ladder up to nether and use an ender pearl to get through the bedrock. So now that I linked up this nether portal, I guess I'll just start building here. We gotta get some frog. Man, what are you? Frog! Come here. You and you. Why is it not working? Yes! One, two, three! Welcome to your new home. <laughs> and now, we wait. Frog, frog, frog. Yeah! Oh! There it is! Another one! Oh, that means it's like five, four, three. Oh! Hey, frog gang rolling in! Yes, sir. Let's go. Now, this is where things got weird. I built the AFK spot at the top, but none of the magma signs are spawning. So I investigated. Is there nothing down there? Why aren't they spawning? I checked the biome. It's all Delta. What? My mob spawning radius. Yep, I'm definitely in range. And they were even spawning below the farm. Why are they spawning down here? I decided to build a small spawning platform away from the farm to see if maybe I could get one to spawn here on like a different chunk. And sure enough, they're, they're spawning here. Dude, if I had to remake this thing, I'm actually gonna go crazy. I remade the thing. But nah, I didn't go crazy. Just some slight frustration, you know. Uh, glass is so hard to break. Why is glass like this? God, I love glass. God, it's freaking hot in my room right now. Hold on. Why? Why? Oh, shit. Dude, oh, fuck my key. Oh, my. Yeah, I had a great time. So in short, the magmas spawn on these little platforms and they get attracted by the iron golems and the frogs munch at them and their children until the entire family tree is erased from existence. Anyways, bam! Hella frog lights! And now we can turn this acne cake into a beautiful smooth cake. Yay! Yay. It's so beautiful! But a cake is still a cake until we put a candle! Celebration. Well, I guess in this case it's also a rocket. Alright, first things first, let's finally get rid of this pillar. Oh my god! For the block, I want to use emeralds to flex my absurd wealth on the villagers I'm holding in captivity. Huh? So that means going back to our silly little rave farm. You know, the one that produces millions of items and XP per minute. That's a lot of emeralds. So I now gotta build vertically, and the only way I could think about blocking down is to keep jumping off, I think. So... Yippee! And up. And... Come on. Yes. Okay, this should be a pretty good height, right? It looks short, but maybe I just need to connect it. 
Yeah, nope, it's small. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, so my inspiration for the flame is like, I'm not even joking, literally just this. Same colors and literally the same like X formation thing. So we're gonna need a lot of glass, turn some into paints. We're gonna need yellow, red, the paint versions, and we can't forget orange. Now with all the materials collected, we can finally start lighting up the cake. Bro, so hype, it's gonna look so good. Okay, we'll start off with a little cross here. Use the yippee technique to block down. At this point, you're probably thinking, Air Kirby, are you sure this is gonna look good? Trust me, bro, it's gonna look good. Let's just get rid of this and we can start building the X. Uh, let me just go under here. And now we can switch to orange because we're getting more on the outside. And then switch to red because we're even more on the outside. And now we gotta duplicate this on the other three sides. So this side number two, side three. And right when I was about to do the fourth side, I thought mm, it's probably a better idea to use two solid blocks for this. But then I got an even better idea to use frog lamps instead because I'm gonna have to light it up eventually. And you know, flames produce light so it just makes sense all right let's finish up this last side now do you guys see the vision no not yet so from here we just build down still keeping the x formation but also it keeps getting smaller let's figure out how low we want to go first okay maybe a little lower all right i think this is a pretty good length we're still keeping the gradient and now let's just build out the bottom all right so that's the tip of the flame now all we have to do is connect the bottom to the top simple Last block. Bah. All right, here it goes in my visionary. Yo, dude, that looks sick. Dude, what did I say, bro? Trust in the process. Yes, sir. <laughs> As you can tell, I was so happy how the cake turned out, but I was still a long way from being done. With the base of the cake done, it was finally time for the brains of the operation. I'm talking about aesthetic item elevators, advanced filtration systems, and full automation! Kinda! Remember this? We have to take the concept that we talked about here, but now, we have to apply it onto the real cake. But first, we need a proper layout. Alright, let's get it going. Alright, this will be the height we start building at. There should be enough space, right? Because I gotta make space for potential redstone stuff. Yeah, this works. All right, now that we got that figured out, we can really start mapping everything out. Ready? Boom, in the middle, we have the central hub. We use this room to get to all the other rooms surrounding it. Down here will be the kitchen where all the magic happens. Up here will be the chicken and cow farm for the eggs and milk. Left will be the sugar cane for the sugar. And right will be the wheat for the, the wheat. Now let's light up this place because I'm gonna go crazy if I see another one of these goddamn zombies. For the chicken and cow farm, it just makes sense that it should be barn. So let's get some wood and let's start building. Boom, perfect. And for the sugar. All right. And for the sugar and wheat farm, they are living creatures. So I'm treating it just as it is, a big old factory. And if there's anything I learned from those crazy Instagram real factory videos I always get, it's all goddamn stone in there. Last but not least, we got the kitchen and it's gonna be pristine. So we're gonna need a good foundation. Now we turn all this wood into planks and psych! We ain't using those poopy planks. We interweave the logs together into a sick pattern and strip them. <sighs> Damn, should I have stripped those? <sighs> nah, it looks fire. Now for the walls, again, pristine kitchen. And it doesn't get more pristine than good old quartz. What the, what, <laughs> what are they doing? All right, here we go. Okay, you guys may have noticed, my levels didn't change because I've been using silk touch. So we're gonna make a huge tower out of all the blocks. Hey, you guys ready? Bam! Check it out! Yeah, I know. Okay, it's not that tall, but you gotta keep in mind, it's a 3 by 3 square, so... Psych, who do you think I am? Of course I'm trying to impress you guys! You know, don't, don't look at it, don't look at that side, but hey! Pretty good. Alright, now we gotta mine it all. Holy, look how much quartz we have. You know, that's crazy that it just went from that and I only have this many blocks. Like, what? Did you see how much that was? 
And then that, that one, that one, <laughs> never mind. Let's just, let's just make this damn kitchen. All right, the regular quartz is cool and all, but this brick one is definitely the look we're trying to go for. Might as well add the roof, right? And I guess we'll also set up like little kitchen lights just so we don't get mobs spawning here. Okay, and the doorway. Alright, there it is. Prepped and ready to go. It's all coming together now. Yes, sir. Oh, chicken. We got chickens on the left. We got cows on the right. Sick item elevator down the middle. The sugar cane farm. We got. Oh, get out of here. We got sugar cane models going down the left and the right. And a huge wheat farm on both sides. But don't forget about the kitchen. I mean, look at this. Pristine. So far, we got the base of the cake done and the outline of every individual farm. But now, it's redstone time, baby! Uh-oh, you know what that means. Big brain exclamations are about to happen. I hope you got your PhD in redstone engineering, because I sure as hell don't. So, pretty easy stuff. We got a couple lines of sugarcane, and we use an observer to detect the change in the block in front of it. When a sugarcane at the end grows, it triggers the line of pistons harvesting the sugarcane that gets caught by the iron bars and into the collection stream. And boom, it's that easy. Then you duplicate it on the other side and make a water stream that connects all of it together to bring it into a single chest to be converted into sugar. Chicken farm, even easier than the last one. We make a line of hoppers and on top of the hoppers we make individual chicken coops where they'll poop out their eggs and distribute it into the mass storage system. Then we add some temporary blocks so we can easily chuck eggs into each coop to hatch baby chickens with absolutely no trouble at all. Hey, get down from there. Wheat farm. Not the easiest of the four, but we've all seen it before. We got a line of trap doors with water, cover it up to look pretty, have a lever that will activate the farm, hook up the lever to the trap doors, use a fully enchanted diamond hoe for some apparent reason, seal off the place with the roof, and light it all up. And now for the hardest farm of them all. Don't worry, buddy, you're in safe hands. Oh. Alright, don't worry, I got you this time. Oh, okay, you're good. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you stay there. With all four farms running, we gotta find a way to funnel them all into the kitchen. Using some redstone magic that I totally understand and didn't look up, I made these sick displayable item elevators that leads to a water stream towards the kitchen. Now, you might be wondering, Air Kirby, where even is the storage? There is no storage. I don't wanna move while I'm making cakes. I want all the items to come straight into my inventory. That's where droppers come into play. So there's no tutorial for me to look up, but on paper, it seems pretty simple to me. Take nine droppers for the nine different items it takes to make a cake, and we use a redstone clock to power it. Easy. Now, I'm no expert in redstone, but bam, it's a little messy, but hey, if it works, it works. Now, after doing some quick kitchen renovations, it was finally time. Hours spent planning. Taking off into the night sky. Building. What did I say, bro? Trust in the farming. It's like, who do you think I am? Of course I'm trying to impress you. All led to this exact moment. And the only thing left to do was to click the lever.